Hey there, true believers. Watch as once again, frightening forces are at work in our world, ready to wreak havoc with our very existence. Who or what prowls the halls of Empire State University after dark? None other than the master of illusion himself, the menacing Mysterio. <sighs> the tablet of order and chaos. Selling you on the black market is gonna make me a mint. Good, you can use a mint. I can smell your breath from here. Spider-Man! Wait, how would you eat a mint through that fishbowl? Nice! Don't get me wrong, your illusions are nifty and all. But if you ask me, they could use a little more kick. <laughs> Nah, uh Souvenirs are available in the gift shop. Stop it! Cease your incessant prattling! But incessant is the best kind of prattling. What? Watch this. Hey, Bubblehead! Think fast! <laughs> Okay. Can somebody tell me what's going on here? Spider-Man, you are needed. Madam Webb? As if this night wasn't strange enough already. The Tablet of Order and Chaos is the most powerful of all the mystic artifacts in the world. And you shattered it. Yeah, sorry about that. Guess they don't make tablets like they used to, huh? The pieces are now fragmented across other dimensions. Dimensions that are strange reflections of our own. A past unlike ours. A present day out of sync. And a distant future which may or may not come to pass. Is that a... cartoon pig? Focus! I require your help. Yours and the help of these three other Spider-Men. The heroes into whose realities the tablet fragments fell. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Other realities? Other me's? Yes, I have explained our dire situation to them. They will be your allies in this quest. But I'm the most charming, right? You must gather all the pieces of the tablet before they fall into the wrong hands. Or our reality, as well as theirs, will be utterly destroyed. Yeah, yeah right. No pressure or anything. <laughs> Let's get started. These neighborhoods aren't going to friendly themselves. Hey, what is up, guys? This is Smith262, and I'm back with another video for you guys. This time I'm playing Spider-Man Shattered Dim Dimensions, and I just got this game, so I've been playing it, and it's actually a pretty fun game to play. Um, you have four different Spider-Mans to use. You're going to see all four of them in this video, and first you got the normal Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man. Um, he is known for his agility in, in this game, so... So yeah, this is a pretty fun game to play. Um, I've been waiting for Medal of Honor to come, but since I, you know, got my other PS3 jailbreak, um, I start, I play, I'm starting to play this, and I gotta say, this is probably the best Spider-Man game to come out. Um, I made a lot of improvements in this game, and it's really fun to play. Um, I think I'm on the fourth, fifth level right now, and I gotta say, it's pretty good. And this is a tutorial level, so that's why there's so many introductions and all that stuff. And then the next one is coming up, so I'll let you hear that and let me, you guys see me pull this damn thing off. I was like, at first, I was like, yo, hurry up, get, let me pull this. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. And look, look at this strong Spider-Man pull it off. Hey, look what I found. Excellent work. A job well begun is half done. Now to another Spider-Man and to bestow a different gift upon him. The black suit. What am I doing in the black suit? I, I hate this thing. Stay calm, young Peter. This suit has extra abilities you will need in your quest. Like what, trying to take over my body? I said stay calm. My psychic powers will keep it from overwhelming you. Yeah, well, I hope you get the result. Now let's retrieve the next fragment, Spitspot. Did you just say Spitspot? First, with your ability to web zip, you can travel quickly from perch point to perch point. Try it now. 
Occasionally, in order to reach distant perch points, you will have to jump towards them and web zip in midair. Uh huh. Talk about a leap of faith. And you can run across narrow walkways such as this one without fear of falling, due to your natural agility and powers of adhesion. Uh, they're called stickum powers. Did one of the other me's make that joke already? Yes, and it was no funnier then. Yeesh. The first. Haha, <laughs> this is my favorite Spider Man. Spider Man with Venom in, with Venom in him. Um, this is the, my favorite, of course. Look how he swings, it's pretty sick. Also, he is known for his power, his strength in this game. So he's the strongest, the strongest Spider-Man in this game. And goddamn, I love playing with this guy, and I love playing with the future Spider-Man as well. You're gonna see, he's gonna be next, I believe, and then the Nor, the old school, but um, not Batman, Spider-Man is back. They're all gonna be this easy to find, right? No. But now, I must turn my consciousness to the future, and to... Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man of the year 2099. That's me, ready to save the universe and looking good while doing it. The next fragment is close. Just ahead, in fact. I'm on it. Gotta watch out, though. This area is property of the Alchemax Corporation, and that means the public eye will be everywhere. And what, pray tell, is a public eye? Not a what, a who. The police force owned by Alchemax, and I'm not sure which is more corrupt. And here he is, the Spider-Man from 2099. Um, this is another sick one. He is known for his speed, since he's lightning fast. And I gotta say, he's pretty, he's pretty badass. You're gonna see what he does later on in this video. <laughs> he could have killed that guy, but um, but yeah, this, this is like the intro of like all of them. I can't really talk about everything in the next video. I post up on this. You're gonna see a lot of me talking. Um, there's not gonna be a lot of those intros or cinematics and stuff like that. So yeah, this is just like a punching, you know, button smash. I wouldn't say button smash game because there's like um, there's lots of techniques you can do. You collect the spider coins and whatever, and you can buy new abilities. You can also buy new costumes, so every every Spider-Man has different costumes, so I can buy them all if I want to. Um, I'll probably do that to show you the, the different costumes. But yeah, this is I'm having pretty fun playing this game right now. Um, I also have Dead Rising 2. I may post videos on that, but I think for the better video and the, the way cooler video, I'll probably post this. And right next is the next intro, the cinematic video. And you're going to see what he does here. Watch this. Oh no! I didn't mean to make him disappear. You didn't. I have saved him from peril and transported him to safety thanks to a dimensional rift caused by the tablet. But please, try not to be so cavalier next time. Good to know you got my back. Guess I'll just worry about my front. Beware. God damn, you could have killed that guy. And these are police officers, by the way. Um, these police police officers work with the bad the bad guys. So Spider-Man has to, you know, get around these guys. So I'll let you see the next intro video. Ah, that was a good warm-up. So when do I get a real challenge? I fear it will be sooner than you think. And finally, I turn my attention from the future to a world set in the past. Say your prayers, punks. Here comes the Spider-Man. What do we got here? Looks like criminal forces in this world have already found one of the fragments. They've taken over the station. And this used to be such a nice place. Use the shadows to your advantage. So yeah, this is the old school Spider-Man. He's from New York, of course. And he's from 1933, I believe. Um... I gotta go check again, but I'm pretty sure he's from 1933, and this is like the Batman of, uh, uh, this is like the Spider-Man of Batman right here. Um, he's pretty cool, he is known for for his stealth ability, of course, um, and he's pretty, pretty badass. I, I like using him. He's not my favorite, though. I like using the Venom Spider-Man over him, and also the future Spider-Man over him, so you can put him with the normal Spider-Man and uh, on the same level as him. 
Um, since I haven't really played with them yet, um, I'm not really sure, but I will say this is a pretty good game to, to get. This is going to keep me occupied till Medal of Honor comes out, and I'm going to be on Medal of Honor the whole time. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Um, the next video I'll probably post will be the, the, of the whole 2099 Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. You're going to like that one. Hopefully you guys like that one, and hopefully you guys like this right here. And as you guys see, the enemy spotted me, but I just got the hell out of there. I leaked into the shadows. This is like 1933. What can they do? <laughs> they can't do nothing. So yeah, so yeah, this is a pretty good game. Let me know if you guys own this game. If you, What do you guys think of it? And what do you guys think of it just watching it now? Do you guys think it's a good game? And would you guys buy this game? Um, but to me, I'll give you my honest opinion. I'd give this game around a 7.5 and 8. Because it's pretty fun to play, no lie, because I'm having fun playing it right now. After I'm done this commentary, I'm about to go hop on it again and try and get farther in the game. But yeah, I like the web swing, swinging in this game. And it's just an overall good game. You're going to see, I can't really talk a lot because it's like an intro video. But, but yeah, the thing is about to be done soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. I gotta go get that next fragment. And that's the end of that.